Hello everybody, so let me share something with you guys. I think it's very important and relevant these days. That is, what will, what should you do, or what can you do when your Linux system does not boot, like this one here. So in my case here, it happens to be an Ubuntu system, but uh, this applies to most Linuxes. So this procedure, even though it's being done in a, a Ubuntu box, this can be done in any Linux and should work on any on in any whatever any Linux so I, I was trying to boot the server and simply put the server just uh, refused to boot okay and probably something happened uh, while uh, trying to um, maybe uh, a shutdown that went bad an update that went bad it, it really doesn't matter at this point what what caused this let me just check my keyboard it's Frank's it's, it's okay so what to what would what to do when you you land here? There are many options. Uh, one of which is to boot from a USB bootable system. You can fix it from there, but that's for a different video. Okay, uh, I will make it soon. But this is what what can you do directly from the Grub prompt? This prompt that um, it gives you some some utilities to resolve your issue. So. Two options here, maybe more, but mostly two. You can boot from a USB bootable, a bootable USB and fix it from there. Probably it's easier. Different video. This is going to be the kind of kind of the hard way, which is to recover using the Grub recovery prompt. Okay. So because sometimes if it's a remote server, a cloud server, sometimes booting from USB it's not available or even possible, right? So let me show you the hard way first, and then we can, in a different video, go to um, go to a, a simpler way, you know, in, in a sense. So what what you do? I'm going. I'm checking my notes here, so I don't make any mistakes. I could make this from memory, but it's always nice to have some notes uh, of your previous experiences, previous experiences, and previous attempts. So what do you do here? Well, this is going to vary the. the the procedure is like this, but what you do, the procedure will vary between systems. In this case, let's do it my system, then we can adapt to yours. So let's start, let's start with with with, um, with LS. LS is going to show you kind of the um, the the raw identifications of our storage devices. I'm not going to in, in detail specify, specifying what it's what it is HD, GPT. That's not the important here. So here you're going to get your storage devices listed with HD. Even if it's SATA and VME, it doesn't really matter. For the most part, you'll see HD something, okay? So these are the storage devices that the Grub can identify. Now, let's list each and every one of them, HD zero. Again, you need to adapt this to your own scenario. And there you go. This is telling me that there's no file system detected. So which means this is was not formatted at all. So for our intended purposes, this is not what we want to see. Try the next one, GPT-2. And this one has stuff there. So it's formatted, uh, most likely XT4. Good, there's data there. This guy, it's also uh, unimportant for, for, for now. And HD1, also unimportant. So our focus here is going to be with HD0 GPT-2, okay? So this is the, the one we will focus uh, for now. Cool. Now we need to set our root file system, our root device. So we do set root equals, and we just specify the HD0 GPT-2. In my case, it's HD0 GPT-2. In your case, can be HD0, 4. It will, it, it will depend. Do the LS and find the one you are interested in. Cool. This is the first part. Now, if I do LS slash, this is the, the contents of the drive. So you can see my slash drive. It looks like a healthy slash drive. For example, I can I can check the FS tab file okay, and I can actually, actually see the contents. Okay. So there's where my UID is, and that's the UID of the device I want to boot from. Right now, I only know the UID. Okay. But if you know the short form like SD0, SD1, SD, SD2, it will make your life quite easier. I know that mine is, is, is SDA2, but I, I will I will make believe I don't know it yet. So this is the number we have to reference, which is the, the UID CA4998, etc. Okay. 
which is uh, right, right about um, here. Okay. Cool. Now let's start, let's let's specify our boot kernel. Uh, don't forget we are booting from HD HD zero GPT two. Let's 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 keep this reference here. Okay, and let's carry on. Next, you do you do type Linux and slash boot slash VM. Uh, you can hit tab here, and we are interested in the VM Linux stuff. So I'm going to, to choose the one that's more recent. It doesn't have to be the more recent. The most recent it just has 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 to be one that it, it, it works. It doesn't really have to be the, the most recent. Okay. Cool. Next, don't forget to specify the root file system again, but now the way to represent is slightly different. It's not by telling you the HD, GPT, blah, blah, blah. It's actually ID. It's the ID that the, app, the operating system will see it if it was healthy. So SDA1, SDA2, or the ID here. Here you can specify the, if you know, if you know the short, the short, the short terms, you can type slash dev, slash SDA1, etc. But in this case, let's make believe we don't. And all, all we have is the EOID. So now you, you type UID, uppercase, equals, and you type the number. Or you can also specify, if you, if you can find it, the part EOID. Okay? You can also say part EOID, which is shorter. If you, if you, are, if you set up some certain file systems like XFS, we'll have a part EOID. If you find it, it's easier to type. Okay? But in this case, or xt4, but in this case, the only thing I have available is the actual partition UID. So that the, the, not the part UID, but the UID. I'm not going to into details what the differences are, but this is what you have. So the UID, it's there, it's CA. So this is a, this is the kind of the, the hard part, CA49. I'm going, I'm going slow here, so I don't make any mistakes. F898, I'm sorry. EA dash four A seven A dash A three FF dash zero A three C eight. Go slow here. Server is down anyway, so eight two four nine six four nine six A sixty nine. Good. You get it. <laughs> Cool. Let's just do a quick recap. So, CA four nine nine eight, or it's four five C. I was I made a mistake here, so I'm going to cancel because I mean I I did the I did the boo boo, and the problem is uh, you you cannot retype this again because this is going to prevail. So I'm going to restart this. I'm going to. The UID was typely wrong, so you cannot retype and it will it will not overwrite. It just doesn't work like that. So ls, let's try again. HD zero GPT two. There we go. Set root. I could retype the command with the new ID, but it doesn't work like that. It will just it it, it, will, it will fail. At least fails every time for me. GPT two. Cool. Now. Linux slash boot VM Linux six. You can just type we'll use whatever kernel you have here. It doesn't have it doesn't have to be the latest one. Generic, cool. Then uh, root equals UID equals UID equals. So if you do, if you do a mistake here, I have tried to retype the command, but it is it failed every time for me in most situations you can try yourself and see what happens but i have I, for me i had to reboot every single time so ca 4598 ea which is fine ea so ca 4598 four, ea ca 4598 ea cool so uh 4a 7a dash uh, zero A three C eight two four nine six A six nine giggity. Uh, let's check this again. Why this C A four five? Take a time. C A four five nine eighty A and 
Shit, again, I made a mistake here, and I mean, I have to try again. I, I skipped, I skipped something, okay, but that's fine. Let's try this again. So ls set root. If you guys have a, I have, I have, I have, I forget things really fast, so that's my own problem. So it's e zero, comma gpt two, ls ls slash. Okay, that's that's awesome. So let's just ls this to get the reference. Okay, cool. So we had done the set root, right? So let's once again try again to specify the kernel. Linux slash boot slash slash VM Linux six dot eleven and uh, so yeah root equals who id equals okay let let's see if i can use this again at without any mistakes for a ca four five four five nine say four five nine eight say four five nine eight ea d d9 b8 d9 b8 okay for a seven a a three ff i'm going to keep all this in so you guys can can join the right i have made some edits on these videos and people ask me to keep everything in for the troubleshooting so i'm keeping everything in to so zero a three c so yeah at this point i lost audio and lost video the camera just shut off for some reason but you'll see me just typing in the UID and the init RD. I have reinforced this when the other comes back. Enjoy. My camera stopped recording. Probably you guys missed my camera was shut down for a bit, but we're back. And make sure that this actually matches the, the version. So if you, if you specified, um, Kernel version 6.11, you also use an uh, image in the third version 6.11. Let me just make sure everything looks okay. So if this is 6.11, the kernel, the previous steps would be 6.11. Then you type boot, and now you observe, and hopefully we get something out of this. Either a direct boot to the desktop and everything's okay, or you get this. Don't worry, this can happen. He's telling that this is telling us that the consistency check failed. It can happen. Just type fs check slash dev in the device. And here I know already see you can see it there. You can see it here. It's showing us SDA2. So SDA2. Let it let, let it fix its stuff. Usually um it's okay. System was modified, so things are working on the up and up. And now we can reboot. And it's every, it's all over again. Okay, so ls. <clears throat> but now we know that it's SDA2, right? Because FS check told us. So it, it, make, it is going to make our life so much easier. So set root equals, so HD0. GPT two. Okay, cool. Now Linux slash boot. You need not in it already, sorry. VM Linux six eleven. And now we know you know that the root file system it's equals slash dev SDA two because FS check told us before, so it gets things much much easier. Now you need to, or you know that beforehand. So if you know your short name beforehand, I mean you are good to go. Boot init rd image six eleven, and now we boot. So everything should be okay. Fs check did its did its thing, and we can probably most like it's as you can see it's advancing much 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 further. Here we go. Sorry for losing the camera before, but it's stopped recording for some reason which is fine, okay?
There we go. System is back up and running. We log in as usual. Now, don't reboot at this point because right now the machine is not ready to boot because Grub is not installed yet. So if you try to boot now, if you try to boot now, uh, you will not get success because Grub is not installed. So get the SFO terminal. Let's do this very quick and dirty. So we'll just do Grub, not that. Grub install. Specify the device that we that we know that now we know it's still, it's SDA two or it could specify the IDs if you want to. And if you do this, it's going to tell you. In my case, it says doesn't don't don't worry about what this means exactly. Block list blah 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 blah. If your system just installs like this and you are good to go, you are good to go. Since this is a special system, I'm going to specify the force. And it's going to force the installation. It's fine. In this case, it's fine. In your case, maybe you don't need the force. If things go okay without the force, even better. Then you just do update grub. Let it do its thing. It's, it's looking pretty cool. Then you can just do a final test with the final reboot. And we should be A-OK -okay and it should boot as normal. So the thing is grub right now, it's it's, it has a zero seconds config zero zero second wait state, so it immediately boots to the default kernel, but that can be also configured uh, in another time. Um, but now the system is booting as usual, back up and running, and everything should be back as usual, and things are just working. Okay, guys, before the likes and subscribe stuff, let me show you something uh, that is how, as you see, the grub does not show. So what do you do? So first you go to to this file here, etc default grub, okay? You change this from hidden to menu. Give your timeout value once here, I'm going to give it 60 seconds. Okay, that's put 30, which is quite enough. So it's going to show them the menu for the group menu for 60, 30 seconds in this case and before it boots. Then you just do sudo grub install. No, grub update, sorry, not install, that's done. Not grub update, what, what is called? I forget, Jesus Christ. My, my update grub as root, you do update grub as group or sudo update grub if you can remember it and you're not dumb like me. Now, if you reboot the server, you should be able to see the 30 seconds or 60 seconds or the value specified with the menu here okay so if you wait you have you, you it will boot to the kernel if you don't wait you'll see that the time down is counting down and when it reaches the end it will boot Ubuntu. now like subscribe and comment it really helps i hope this finds someone in trouble and actually saves their day like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in the next one cheers guys